Welcome back. On November the 19th, the Bronx is blooming. Not burning, but blooming. And <laughs> we'll be out at Cortona Park. And joining us with more details, we have founder Jennifer Bogrand. We welcome you to the show. Thank you very much for having us. Bronx is blooming, and you have helped. Yes. Tell us about it. So we um, have been around for about five years now. We were established in 2011. Mm -hmm. And we work with communities to restore and beautify city parks. So we, all, we are partnering this weekend, as always, with the New York City Parks Department. This weekend we are working at Cortona Park specifically, and we'll be meeting at mm -hmm. 10.30 in the amphitheater at Cortona Park, oh, which is right. in the center of the park in the northeast corner of the park. Um, and what we do is we, as I said, work with communities to restore and beautify city parks. Mm -hmm. So what that means is we have three main focal points. Those are youth leadership development, environmental stewardship, and community building. So um, in terms of youth leadership development, we work with Bronx high school and college students specifically. Um, and we have a program called the Program for Leaders Advancing Their Community's Environment, mm -hmm. also known as the PLACE program. So we are connecting to a sense of place and a sense of an environment in their local communities in a specific park. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, <laughs> <laughs> so youngsters get a chance, students get a chance to come out and, and volunteer and get mm -hmm. a taste of what's happening in the Bronx other than, you know, uh, maybe the concrete jungle that some of us live in? Yes, yeah, some people would say that. I, I think um, we have amazing parks. Um, they are often, um, they do not often have the resources that they need to be as amazing as they mm. could be. Um, and so what we do is we work with students in the community to actually care for their community green spaces. In the summer, we specifically have a program where we work with mm -hmm. high school students who are assigned to one park and they have a college mentor, a Bronx college mentor. So they are somebody from the Bronx who is currently in college mm -hmm. um, and they are leading them through how to take care of an environmental problem affecting the Bronx. Yeah. And what we're doing is we use the train the trainer model. So first we teach our mentors. Train these the college, trainer. Yep, so we use these college age mentors. We give them the basic skills and we talk to them about the environmental problem that they are facing. We have done mm -hmm. a lot of work around storm water management. Um, it's the biggest water quality issue in New York City. So what we're doing is we're trying to have our students help absorb some of the water to keep it from polluting our rivers. How do they do that? They SpongeBob! <laughs> no. Exactly! <laughs> Something like that. So they do it through a variety of ways. One thing we do is we do park tree stewardship. So we are caring for specifically a lot of the young trees that are newly planted in parks. And that will absorb, absorb a lot of that water? Well, yes, it will help absorb. I mean, the, the large trees will help to absorb a lot of that water. Mm -hmm. um, but also we're putting down, we are removing invasives, so plants that have come in and have been brought in that are they that don't play well with others pretty much they take over right and so it's fine to have things that are not from here but you, you don't want it to be an overarching like this plant takes over this space mm -hmm. and nothing else can grow and so what so we everything do everything is jockeying for position huh? that is always the case <laughs> right and so our students learn about which plants are important to remove and mm -hmm. then they help to remove them and then what we do is we i mean our students work really hard and one thing they're doing is they're shoveling a lot of mulch mm -hmm. and so what we're doing is we're mulching gardens um, to help use that mulch to absorb some of the water and we make nice really really beautiful rings and there are no pictures um, yeah. but we make these lovely rings around our young trees which helps to protect them from getting damaged um, by, you know, by accident as well as on purpose, right? But what are so those rings for? What, what, what so the mulch ring so helps absorb that water that we were talking about. It also So you have the tree here. But yep, you so you have the tree you there. You do an outside perimeter. Yep, and we do a nice little ring around the tree um, with mulch. And what we do so is keep remove... the water inside we the remove, circle. Yeah, it helps. Well, it helps the water slowly to... The mulch slowly percolates the water. And so, right, it comes down it. slower. Because when the water comes from the sky, it comes really fast a lot yeah. of the time, especially in our summer rainstorms. Mm -hmm. And so what they're doing is they're helping to slow that water down and have it absorb into the soil. Really good. But the big thing that our students do is 
that they turn the, the lessons that they've learned, our high school students, they turn those around and they're expected to lead volunteer groups to do this work. And so this weekend, we will have some of our high school as well as some of our college place leaders leading groups of volunteers in Cretona. Oh, I love it. Yeah, but no. this weekend we're partnering with New York with Parks as usual uh -huh. and New York Roadrunners, um, as well as other community partners in the neighborhood. Go ahead. Excellent. Um, you spoke of resources. What are some of the resources that you, that you need to help beautify these parks? Um, I think a big one is just time and continuity. So right now we're working, we have worked in about 17 parks throughout the Bronx. So this weekend we'll be working in Cortona, but we work in parks throughout the Bronx and we partner with all different organizations. Mm -hmm. um, we partner with um, nonprofits and companies and school groups. And so we're bringing people out. And I think yeah, the biggest yeah. resource is time and energy put in. So the Bronx is blooming on an annual basis, brings over 1,600 volunteers to our parks. And we bring the, equi like the equivalent of three full-time staff to Bronx parks each year. Yes. So Saturday, November 19th. Saturday, November 19th. I'm not we're sure if we're going to have the best hot chocolate that they will have, <laughs> but we will have snacks. Well, and we can invite them along. Exactly. You know? <laughs> we will you have snacks and it'll park? be a... Uh, you can come and promote it. There yeah. we go. And it'll be a <laughs> wonderful day out. Yeah. Um, we are going to be meeting at the amphitheater again in Cortona Park at Bring 1030. the hot chocolate truck, though. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we would love the hot chocolate <laughs> truck to come and join us. So you'll be meeting? We'll be meeting at 1030 at the Cortona Park Amphitheater. Uh -huh. And we will be there um, until about one, um, and we will be working to to help care for Cortona Park's trees and shrubs and flowers. And we will be again planting some lovely spring blooming flowers as well. Thank you for helping to beautify our communities and our parks. Thank mm -hmm. you. Give her a big hand, everybody. Yes, <laughs> Jennifer Bogran, founder director of the Bronx is blooming. Thank you so much. Of course, thank you. All right, we're going to take a quick uh, short break right here, but the, up next we'll learn about the meditation. Breathe in, breathe out. The way you can do yoga right here in your neighborhood. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Mm -hmm. 